So welcome back. Today I want to talk about FabFitFun, the spring 2019 box. Here is what the box looks like. And let's open it and talk about what we got inside. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not, thanks for coming on back. So when I do unboxings, I do them a little bit different than some of the channels I've seen. I like to already have opened the box and gone through it and have the products out. That way there's no crinkling noise. And also I can let you know if the brand is cruelty free or not. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, the box is $49.99 if you do a one-time subscription per box, but if you want to do an annual, that's $179.99. So this is the second box I've gotten. I got the spring one and now this one. My mom had gotten the editor's box in the spring, and so far I'm really, really happy with these boxes. If they continue to be this good, I probably next year will do an annual. And I think one thing that's really important that I want to get across with this FabFit subscription box. And sometimes I would watch unboxings and I would think, mm, that's not really for me. And even though they would say, well, you can get this or this in your box, I wasn't really, it wasn't clicking that like you pick which items you want. And yes, there are some that you get in your box that you don't get to pick. So you still get the element of surprise, but you are also getting to pick what you want. So. I'll kind of go through and let you know um, how it could really alter your box and kind of alter what you're seeing when you see unboxings and if you're trying to determine if you want to try the box or not. So the first thing we have is this is the VIX Paul Hermany, Hermany Lotus Towel and I will just open this up. It's 100% polyester and this is $50. And when I did look on their website, the prices with FabFitFun, I do think that's really good. They don't inflate their prices at all. What they say in the brochure, this is this, like I said, the second box and this time the prices were pretty much right on as well. So this towel feels pretty soft and I will insert a picture of it because it'll be hard to see it this in this way but here's what it looks like the edges so really pretty you could actually use this as decoration I think rather than a towel if you wanted to and it would be a good cover-up because it's a good size so you could really wrap it around if you go to the pool or beach so and really soft so happy with that would I spend $50 for it no Okay, the next thing is, this is what I was really excited about from this box, is this is the 111 Skin Mask, and this is the Rose Gold Brightening Facial Mask. There's five in here, and I couldn't believe this. This is $160 for these five masks. Now, I did do a video already on this on Monday. I will link that up above and down below if you wanna check that out. And spoiler alert, I like these and wish they weren't so expensive, but yes, definitely I would say go check out that video if you're interested after this, because that's crazy, $160. But, so there is the rose gold mask, which I think it's fun. To, I would never purchase that, so it's good to have these things like this in the spot. They have this little magazine that comes with it, and it tells you what are the other choices that you could have got, just to remind you. So instead of the towel, I could have picked a kimono, the bum bum cream, or a travel blow dryer. And the kimono, I did get that robe in the spring box. This one was black for fall, but I got this one and I really do like this, but I didn't need another one. So that is why I purchased the towel. I know, I think a lot of people got the blow dryer and are happy with it, but I thought the towel was cool. For the brightening facial treatment mask, you could have got West Elm tie-dye bowls, a diamond, it's diamond pattern, tote, or black felt leather board. So like if you're not really into face mask, you know, there's other options if you wanted something for your home or a tote. So I think that it's important to keep that in mind because I know that I didn't, that there are so many choices that they give you. Now granted the annual memberships 
they get to pick their items first. So some of the items were sold out by the time it got around to where I could pick my items. But for the majority, they what I wanted was there. Next up we have, this is the Jennifer Zuner Jewelry. And this is $50. And would I pay $50 for this? No. But it looks pretty. It's very dainty. And I don't usually wear a lot of dainty jewelry. But I might give it a try. Or keep it and give it to a gift as a gift to someone. But yeah, so this said it was $50. And if you wanted, you could either get the necklace some resistant bands or some silicone wine glasses. So that's just kind of, I won't go through every one, what your choices are, but I just really wanted to give you um, a feel for like, it's usually like an exercise, you know, makeup or beauty, maybe jewelry or like housewares. So there really is a pretty wide range. And so it came in this little pouch. So then next there was a mystery item. And so it came in a bag like this and had the thing that said mystery item. And this is, it said the mystery item, what could it be? A pellet, trigger ball, or maybe a primer. We love a good mystery and we promise this is a good one. So it said the value was 24 plus. So what I got was the Grown Alchemist hand cream, vanilla, orange peel. And this is $24 on the company's website. It is cruelty free. It says that it's also an Australian certified toxic free. So it comes in a tube like this. So I like the packaging. Oops, upside down. And I will be going through, it is sealed. So I will be going through and doing a separate video of just kind of recapping the FabFitFun spring and editor's box. I was going to go through the products and give my thoughts on this video, but then I thought it would be way too long. So that'll be a separate one. Okay, so then we have the next thing is the Invisibobs, Invisil, Invisibobble, the Traceless Hair Rings, and this is a set of six. This is $16, and I really like these. I have these myself, myself. and they stretch out, but they do go back to their normal shape. So highly recommend them if you have long hair or you like to wear your hair in a ponytail. Next, we have the Kula. This is the Makeup Setting Spray. And this has SPF. They are cruelty free. And that is $36. Okay, so here's what that looks like. So let's just give it a whirl. This one has, it does smell pretty summery, but I got this in a sample size in my How to Be a Redhead box. And I feel like, let me spray it again. Yeah, I feel like in the sample size, it smelled a little bit more beachy, summery than the full size, but it still smells pretty good. We have the Generation Clay. This is the Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. And on the packaging, it does say cruelty free. Checking other websites such as cruelty free kitty, I wasn't getting a confirmation that they were cruelty free based on those websites, but their packaging does say it. So I have reached out to the brand just to confirm. So on my update video later, that will be clarified. That was $39. I think I said that. Then we have the Grace and Stella Rose Facial Spray. And this is $25.95, and they are cruelty-free as well. Here is what the package looks like. And I did do some eye masks from Grace and Stella. They're the gold that goes underneath your eyes, and I really like those. They're very cooling, and I'll link a video of that up above. But let's see. Mm, that smells good. It's, it definitely smells rose, but it's not an overpowering fragrance. So ooh, I'm going to like that, I think. Okay, and then the last thing we have is Wish. Wish, if so I'm saying that right. And this is the Exfoliating Foot Mask. This is $32, and they are cruelty-free as well. So it's nice because, 
you know, this time and the last time, most of the products are cruelty-free brands. So here is what that looks like. And seal. Okay, so it says, get your feet sandal ready. Natural ingredients like willow, bark, extract, and pumpkin seed exfoliate and polish for softest feet ever. So I will love to wear flip-flops, so I'll definitely be trying that out. The items that every member gets in their box is the Invisibobbles, the Generation Clay Ulta Violet Brightening Purple Mask, the Grace and Stella Spray All Day, and the Foot exfoliating mask. The rest of the items are ones that you had to choose between other items. So I'd love to know down below if you have tried FabFitFun or if you want to give it a whirl. I do have an affiliate link down below. It will not cost you anything more to go through that link, but I will get a little bit of a kickback if you do. And I'll also leave a coupon code down below to get $10 off your first box. So I would love to know your thoughts on the FabFitFun box, if you've tried them, if you're not going to try them, if there's any products you like, anything like that that you want to comment down below. I'd love to get a discussion going. So thanks for watching. And oh, actually, I will be putting some videos up here. This, it will be the FabFitFun spring unboxing if you want to see what I got for the spring and editors box. And if you also want to see another unboxing, this is how to get a redhead and or how to be a redhead box. And I will be getting three more months of that and then be doing a final recap if I'm going to repurchase or resubscribe after September will be my last box that I've already committed to for that company. So if you want to just click on one of those videos, if you click on my face, you will subscribe and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.